fight! Hey guys, this is Versatile from Proud to Phoenix Media. So I got some video requests in the past about guys who are curious, hey, does the MW3, can I still play that online in 2017 and beyond? And the answer is yes. So here's a real quick refresher course that we're going to do to close out 2017 with the bang, revisiting, revisiting one of the oldest games on the Steam library just for fun. So yes, you can play this game for free, and I'll show you how this works. Um, so let's do this. So basically what you do is you go to Steam, right? And you go to library, you go to tools, and go ahead and download the Call of Duty MW3 dedicated server package. Now granted, I don't have it shown installed here, but I do have it installed um, a local copy that I've copied over the years from my external hard drive. So here it is on my desktop. This is what the contents of the folder looks like over here. But let me show you what you do. So basically you download the server package. It's about 14 gigabytes. After that, you need two base patches, or at least that's what I've been doing traditionally. Um, one patch is this 2735 full update patch. It gives you the, all the base files. And then here's another patch, which is a 2731, the client. And then from there, we'll be able to upgrade to the latest version. So first thing we want to do is click on 2735. I'm using 7-zip, but you can use like WinRAR. You can say 7-zip. Uh, let's do like extract to his own folder here. So let's come up with this folder, right? Double click into that folder and just double click on the executable. And then it's going to just going to extract all of its necessary files, which we'll see in a second here uh, that it's doing at the moment. So this takes, I don't know, like a minute or so, something like that. Once all the files are extracted, uh, once this window goes away, basically, once all the files are extracted, we're just going to copy and paste all those files into the main MW3 folder here. Now, this particular MW3, I have it on my desktop. By all means, you can have it on your C drive. You can have it on your, um, you know, another partition, possibly on your hard drive. Whatever you want to do, just make sure you know where it is. If you don't even know where this game is when you first download it off of Steam, what you could always do is just go into your search toolbox here under Windows and type in, like, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, and I'm sure Cortana, if you're using Windows 10, or if you're using the older Windows, I'm sure you'll find the file path to where that folder is. So basically, once you know where your game is located, it's pretty easy to start patching. So here we have the patching files. It's almost done, I think. And basically what happens is once this is done, we're going to cut and paste the files, all of the files in this folder here, into the main NW3. So it's done. Okay, so I'm just going to do what I say. Select all. I'm going to cut these guys. Cut it. Go into the main NW3. Right click and paste. And I want to overwrite everything. Okay, so that's good. And then, just to make sure there's no issues, let's go to this 273. And here, for sake of time, you can actually left click and drag all these guys into the MW3 folder. So let's go ahead, do that, left click and drag, overwrite all. So because of my windows, I have some permissions issues, so that's not a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and right click, extract to the client folder. Sometimes windows quirky like that, depending on your permissions, that's all right. Select all, right click, cut, MW3, paste, overwrite, all, and all is good to go. Okay, great. So now once you're inside this folder, then all you gotta do is just scroll down until you find something called Techno MW3 Update and have it update itself. If for a reason you're having issues, so some people say, hey, maybe you can just right click, run as administrator, so that should work. So this is going to take a little bit here, so I'm going to do I'm going to pause the video, and then once this update is done, we'll fast forward to the end. Okay, great. The update is successful. We're updated to the latest version now, which is 2.8.0.4. So now what you want to do is go ahead and click on the Techno MW3 Client Launcher. And then it's going to come up with this here. Go to Settings, do whatever you want here, click on Save, and then click on Play, and it'll start your game. If for some reason during the patching process, if you get an error, or when you try to start the game, you get an error, it's very possible that your antivirus might be flagging the files for whatever reason. If that's the case, as a troubleshooting step, I highly recommend maybe you just disable your AV program for the time being, install the patches, and verify your game is working. If it is, then just, you, you just want to make sure that your AV uh, program allows those certain files to be um, allowed and you can start playing the game. And that's pretty much it. So with that said, let's jump straight into the next portion of the video tutorial and show you uh, proof of yes, the game is working. Let's do this. Okay, so we are in the main menu of Techno NW3, so let's do this. So as a real quick update check, just make sure you go to Options, Dedicated Server, you have both of these enabled. And then you should have a server list button here, so go ahead and click on that. 
And then you can go ahead and search by, you know, number of players and just pick a server that you like. So I'm just going to pick a random server here. Let's try uh, this particular one, Team Deathmatch. All right, I'm just going to pick a class here. Clearly he's working. You see there's a bunch of guys here. That's awesome. And you're just ready to have a lot of good time. Oh. So that's today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions in the comment here on the YouTube page, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.